Tide Gemini, Faith of Us Tarot. Alright, let's do you, dealing with an Aries. Let's get rid of them. Alright, Gemini, if you're dealing with an Aries, how does the Aries currently feel about Gemini? Six of Swords, I feel like they're moving on from you. Okay, the Aries, uh, got the Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Ten of Wands, and Death. Okay, the Aries is calmly moving forward, possibly without you, or they're going to come towards you. Um, they are very much, very stable at the moment, they're abundant, they're doing their own thing. Two of Cups, could be searching for a soulmate, or they see you as a soulmate, they're heavily burdened right now. Um, they're just wanting a brand new beginning, they want something to end, so they can have a brand new beginning. It could be that they want an ending with you. Well, let's see, what's the Six of Swords for Gemini dealing with an Aries? And their own card comes out. This Aries, I think, is pretty much bossing the fuck up. And with the Queen of Pentacles as well, this person may just want to be single and abundant. They're working on themselves. They're working on their own life. Hierophant at the bottom, yes, they are very much so. Uh, they're, they're working on finances, on their stability. What is the Two of Cups? What is the Two of Cups? Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Okay, the Aries could see you as a soulmate. They may want to give you a little gift or something. Um, you will say uh, may end up having a child together. You could have children together. What is this Aries burdened about? Communication with you. They want to take that leap of faith. And now they're in the King of Wands energy as well. Well, they see you as a King of Wands. Um, this Aries, they do think highly of you. All right, they're very passionate about you. They want to communicate about taking this leap of faith towards you. They possibly already have, but this is burdening them. Okay. All right, clarify death for their intentions. Clarify death. They're not making a decision, Five of Cups, because they're healing. They're getting over a heartbreak. They're trying to heal themselves. They may not have been mentally stable in the past. They're, they're, they are working on themselves. This is why the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles came out. With, with the clarifying the death card here, you know, an ending for a brand new beginning. They're not making their mind up because they are still working on healing. Okay, they're nearly healed. All right. What action will Aries take towards Gemini? What action will Aries take towards Gemini? What actions? Now oh, they're done. They're done. No, sorry. Six of Wands in reverse. They are trying to be less defensive. They're trying to put their guard down. Um, they could be struggling with addictions right now or... You know, they're obsessing over you, or they're obsessing over the connection. Uh, there's temptation around, but the Three of Swords. I'm not seeing that there is a romantic third party involved here. I just think this person is just so heartbroken over something that they can't get over it. So they're more focused on work. Healing their heart and more focusing on work. That is their action towards you. Yeah, Knight of Swords. And they're trying to do it as quick as possible as well. Because they do see you as a soulmate. Alright. Uh, this Aries, they need time. They're trying to find a bit of truth and clarity. For their happiness. They're trying to find their sole purpose. Their happiness. Yeah, let like the Hierophant. They could be... Um, they're searching for their one. Whether you're their one or not. They're searching for truth and clarity. They want their happiness. They want a soulmate. I'm not sure if it is you or not, but your cards come out here. Again, lots of major arcanas coming out. I just don't know if it's you, Gemini, or if it's somebody else. But let's find out if it is you that they want or if it's somebody else that they want. Does Aries want Gemini or are they looking for someone else? Does Aries want Gemini? Upright, yes. Reversal, no. Yes, they do want you. Knight of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Nine of Swords. Oh, God. I'm going to get these. Oh, bless. At the moment, they feel like it's not going anywhere. 
this person has so much anxiety, so much fear about this connection with you. They want it. They they really do. They they want it with you, Gemini. But there's just so much fear, stagnant energy. Oh, no, no. Let's see how how you feel about them. Your intentions towards them and your action towards them. Gemini, what is your feelings towards Aries? You would like to move forward. You would like things to go in your favour. King of Cups, you are very much in love with them as well. Okay, a lot of happiness there between you. Uh, Four of Pentacles though, you're holding back just a little bit. Is this because you already know that they're trying to heal themselves? Clarify the Four of Pentacles for how you feel about Aries. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, you're holding back because you know that they're working. They're working on themselves. Okay, will you wait for them? Will you wait for the Aries? Will you wait patiently for them? The High Priestess. Oh. <laughs> you two are connected telepathically. You will keep, you will wait. You will, you're secretly harboring feelings for them. All right, you've got a lot of feelings for this Aries. I think you will wait. Okay, using your intuition on this, you're speaking to each other in the 5D, you are telepathically connected to each other. Alright, what is your true intentions towards Aries, your true intentions towards Aries? Okay, oh, wow. Mm. Right, your true intentions, the Hermit. Isolating yourself for now to a sword, you're not making a decision about an ending for a new beginning you do want a lot of passion with them you do want the four of wands you're you are waiting patiently yeah but you're not healing you're not healing yourself from something as well you know you two need your heads knocking together all right aries needs to heal from a heartbreak or whatever it is that they're going through you also need to heal from something as well. You're not making a decision, but you want it all. You're very passionate for the Aries. You're isolating themselves. You're working on yourself as well. But four of swords in the reverse. In the upright, that's that's healing yourself. Okay. In the reverse, that's kind of like you're you're overworking. That's what this is. You you. Yeah. You feel like you don't have time for them. That's why you're in the Two of Swords energy in the Hermit. You feel like there's, there's, there's just not enough time for you and an Aries to actually get together. But this is beautiful. Look, the Death, the Ace of Wands. I've got to show you this. Look, Death, the New Beginning, the Ace of Wands, Passionate New Beginning, the Four of Wands. Living together. This, you, this is your Twin Flame. It's the 1111 Twin Flame Soulmate Energy. Look, you're patiently waiting. You two belong together. The family, the kids, the everything. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Really is. Will you two get back together? Let's see. Because I have a feeling. Yeah. Let's just see. Will you two get together? Will you two get together? Will Gemini and Aries get together? Or get back together if you were together before? Will you? Communication. You will talk about it. Justice, will you get back together? Two of Pentacles, <laughs> oh come on you guys. Clarify the Two of Pentacles, what is this juggling about? One of you is constantly going, to be, oh my god, this is not an equal give and take, this is starting to get toxic. Someone's creating illusions. Will you two get back together? Three of Wands in the reverse. Looking back. Constantly, you will constantly look back at each other. Alright, pride and ego, but also finding the strength and the courage. The High Priestess. You're both emotionally hiding your feelings towards one another. But you keep looking back at each other. Not really answering my question, but we have justice here. Clarify justice for will Aries and Gemini get together. The Six of Swords. 
Moving on calmly, the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. I think you might try to work it out. I think you you will try to see if it goes anywhere. What's the three of ones in the reverse? Four of Swords. After after much healing from both of you. <laughs> oh my God, this is a cycle with you two. Jesus. After a lot of healing, yep, this is your card, the Magician, this, it is also Aries as well, you're going to manifest each other back. You two have got yourself in such one hell of a bloody cycle, which is why I think the Wheel of Fortune came out. It's just going to keep going and going and going between you two. You are going to have a celebration. Yeah, look at this. You are going to have the Ten of Cups. You are going to work together. You're going to heal. You're both each other's wish fulfillment. Okay? You're going to have a brand new beginning. And it's going to come quickly. You're going to come back together. You will. Alright, let's just get some romance angels on this. Alright. Tell me about Gemini and Aries. Gemini and Aries, please. Gemini and Aries. Okay, love yourself first. I think this is what you're both trying to do. Aries is trying to work on themselves. They're doing it. And I'm not sure if you are, Gemini, but your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. It is safe for you two to love each other, okay? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. If you've got children together, your love life is being affected by the children. And look, this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. You and an Aries. <laughs> or as Phoebe says on Friends, you're each other's lobster. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Aww. You know what, I'm getting the Twin Flame deck. Where's the Twin Flame deck? There it is. You and an Aries. Gemini and Aries. Oh, okay, they're talking. <laughs> Alright, I beg them. Okay. So between you and Aries, one of you is horrible at communicating. I love the way you look. You are perfect in my eyes. No one will sabotage our connection ever again. Universe is watching. And he or she doesn't understand your love like I do. I dream of you every night. We're simply meant to be. I should have saved that for last, but please forgive me. I was not mature enough for you. Oh, how can you say no to that gem? So how can an Aries say no to you? You're both vibing. You're both high vibing. Let's put it that way. When you're together, you two are like magnets. You're like a moth to a flame. All the chemistry is there. And, um, you know, when you do any um, compatibility readings, um, the best signs for it, Gemini's and Aries, they're just the absolute best. They mirror each other. They can both keep up with each other. It's a fantastic energy. So Gemini, this looks fucking fantastic for you and Aries, okay? It really does. Alright, I'm going to leave your reading there.